On the menu today is some southern fried squash with onions. And what I got going on here is I'm frying up some bacon. I'm going to use that bacon grease to start my cooking process on the onions. I'm do some pork chops and probably steam up some broccoli. But this is what the main ingredient is going to be tonight. It's a nice cut up squash, fresh squash too. And got some onion all cut up and ready to go. So as soon as that bacon gets done, we'll get started on that fried squash and onions, Southern style. All right, we got the bacon out of there. So the first thing I want to do is go ahead and add in my onions and get those starting to saute up. Get some trans, tr there. We'll get some translucent activity going on there. Let me get a good spoon for this. My little flat roof spoon, be perfect for that. Right, we'll break up some of these onions here. Let this start cooking down. Won't take very long. Throw this in there, then I'll go ahead and add my squash. So I'm gonna let these cook. I'll come back to you when we're gonna add the squash. All right, a few minutes have gone by now. Our onions are looking good. I don't want them to cook too much because I want to get some good caramelization on them after the squash is in there. So we'll go ahead and start adding in some squash. Just kind of layering that in. Ah, get back in the pot. I got some thick pieces and thin pieces, but it doesn't really matter. It's going to cook down really nice. Go ahead and cover the pan. Fill these little voids. Dump the rest of that in there. Spread that around. Let that do its thing. Now we want to add a little bit of salt to this. That squash is going to need some salt. This salt is going to help draw out the moisture in that squash. And we'll go ahead and add in some pepper. Turn my heat down just a little bit and kind of let that sit a little bit. We'll come back after a few minutes, stir this up, and then we want to flatten it out. We want it to kind of, you know, we're taught not to let things stick to the pan, but we kind of want this to stick. That's what's going to caramelize the whole bottom of this. And then as we turn it, it's going to caramelize and it's going to be wonderful. Fried squash and onions, Southern style. We'll be right back. Alright, while we're waiting on that squash to do its thing, I'm going to go ahead and season up my pork chop. These are some pretty thick cuts, so I'm going to put salt and pepper both sides, and then I'm going to get this pot pretty hot, put a little bit of olive oil once it's hot, and I'm going to pan sear these for a couple of minutes on each side, then I'm going to stick them inside of that hot oven and let them finish cooking. So right now, I got this pot, get this pan getting hot. So let's go ahead and season up some pork chops and move on to the next step. I'll see you back here in the short. All right, let's drop some pork chops. It's a good hot skillet there. You hear that sizzle? That's what we want. Yeah, baby. Let those sear off on that side for about two minutes. I'm gonna flip them. Let's turn this over, turn this down a little bit. Then I'll flip them over for about two minutes, then I'll stick them in that hot oven to finish cooking. All right, this squash is coming along good. You can see how we got some 
caramelization going on here with the squash. I'm just, what I'm doing here is just, I'm flattening it out and I'm not touching it. I just let it brown off on the bottom. About every five minutes, 10 minutes or so, I come in here and turn it. And you're getting these brown bits in there, that caramelization. These, these are gonna cook perfectly like I'm doing here. Doing them on a slow cook, probably doing it right about 250 degrees. So I think these things are gonna be wonderful. Went ahead and put some broccoli on. And if I can turn the light on here, wherever that's at. See, I got my pork chops, got them in the oven, let them finish off. So got a nice little meal going here. But when the squash is done, everything's done and plated, I'll take another video and I'll show you guys what the finished product looks like. The main ingredient, the squash and onions, sauteed in a frying pan. Ah, man, that's gonna be good. I'll see you back here shortly. There you go, caramelized. All those onions and squash is beautiful. It's good southern fried squash with onions. Pair that with a pork chop and some broccoli, you got a perfect meal. There you go, good southern cooking. Until next time, bye.